Hi guys, this Monday we're launching our new program for CAT 21. So in case you want to join us for the books, mocks, shortcuts or the complete e-class program, just call the numbers given here. Alright, let's talk about the verbal section ka score versus percentile ka breakup because that's very important to understand how much score versus percentile I need to crack the I'm call, any I'm call from the verbal section point of view. Okay, first target is 70 percentile. If you're from the reserved category, 70 percentile SCST DA, 70 percentile is more than sufficient. And verbal point of view, that is 18 marks. Divide by 3, every question is worth 3 marks. So you need to do 6 questions correct to get the I'm call. That's it, yeah. With a 26 mark paper, 26 question in the verbal section, all you need is 6 question correct. OBC, EWS, we need to do 7 question correct. Non-engineers, 27 marks, 9 question correct. And general engineer male, 11 question correct. These are the 4 magic numbers which you need to remember. Yeah, if you're very good in verbal, if you want to target 99 percentile, then you need to get 42 marks, which is 14 question correct. 99.5 will be around 50 marks, which would be around 16, 17 question correct. And in case you want to target 100 percentile, suppose you're very weak in quant. So I want to maximize my score in verbal, then 100 percentile is approximately 60 marks, which is 20 question correct. Yeah, so these are the magic numbers which you need to remember from the verbal point of view. So, worst case scenario, G strategy, our poor child, G means poor child. Sir, you are very big, but I don't understand anything. In that case, the worst case scenario, your target score is 95 percentile, 11 question correct, or yeah, 90 percentile, 9 question correct. So, that's why I always give the target of 10, 10, 10. Verbal, DLR, quant, 10, 10, 10. If you can touch this magic number, you are definitely going to get the IM call. It can be main IMs, it can be new IMs, it all depends upon your academic record as well, your overall percentile also. But in the quant section, in the verbal section, these are the number. If you look at other way around, yaar, kya chal raha dekho yaar, 26 question may say, out of 26 question, all I need to do is 10 question correct. And you are getting a call from IMs. So, don't you think it's doable? Yes, it's very much doable. And that is going to be our target. Yeah, the so score versus percentile. I'll be making more videos like this for DILR and quant also. So that we can do that. In case you want to join our program, you can just call the numbers given here. So that my, my team can help you out with joining us for books, small shortcuts, whichever program you want to join. And please keep one target in mind. It can be 99, it can be 99.5, it can be 100 percentile, 95, 90, 80, 70, whatever is going to be your target. Otherwise, minimum is this much score required to get the IM call. All the best. Alright, this is the overall study plan for CAT 21 and the non-CAT exam. I have divided the preparation in two parts. First is the basic. Step number one, part number one is basic, complete the basics, then go for the pro level and then revise everything before the CAT 21. So step one will cover up the basics. Then we'll go for the advanced level, pro level. That will be probably from July onward. So July 1, we'll go for the advanced level. And then last one month, we're going to revise everything. So we are going to complete the syllabus three times before you sit for the CAT exam. So this is the plan you can follow on your own. So you can just take a screenshot of the, this thing. Or in case you want to join our program, you can just join our program by calling the numbers here. So this Monday, we are starting a new program, new batch. So in case you want to join, just call the numbers given in the description box so that we can start our program. Or you can just call the numbers given here.